oh beautiful bright gorgeous amazing souls <laughs> i didn't really know what to say then you know when you just get so excited in your heart space and you're like words come on i need words to flow here oh beautiful souls welcome to my channel welcome to ascension to love with alice a return to union that gorgeous unity consciousness that we are all striving towards to create to anchor in in that highest light possible oh my gosh it's so wonderful to be here with you it's such an honor um we are doing a fantastic reading today because this is guys we've got the spring equinox that vernal equinox right this is a video this is a reading on that what to expect what to um how to optimize the energy here because we're at the start of the year this is the energetical start of the year right you know march 20th when the sun moves into aries that fiery sign oh my gosh i'm already feeling that energy i don't know about you guys it is literally the best time of the year to manifest your highest timeline um so i'm really keen to see what our gorgeous angels guides ascended beings of light anyone that is here who is of a frequency high enough to be joining us in this sacred sacred space um to bring through some wonderful messages and just to really help us on our own ascension path and manifesting as well because that's what this uh, gateway is all about there's a massive manifestation portal happening right now if you are new and look at that metatron coming through here oh gorgeous absolutely do archangel metatron because this is about our soul path and our soul journey and that's exactly what um that's exactly what this vernal equinox is about right so if you're new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button i would adore it if you uh, wanted to offer a little bit of love by way of popping a comment on the video or liking the video that just helps more people see it as it jumps into people's um onto people's timelines on youtube then you know and if you're not yet um on my facebook page ascension to love with alice um do have a look at it because we have daily angelic guidance to really help set you up for the day and also a gorgeous facebook group called the isis dream temple where magic meets mystery it will be wonderful to have you in that space because we do free card readings and meditations and zoom calls such as the one we're doing on friday it's a recorded zoom call so do not worry if you are busy friday evening uk time or if the time difference doesn't suit but we are doing an incredible 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 zoom call workshop whatever you want to call it um where we are really harnessing that spring equinox energy that aries energy we're really harnessing it we are clearing um on so many blocks that we've had um so that we can really jump shift onto our highest timeline yet okay so if you are a fan of manifesting if you know that you are ready to launch into your just your true sovereign self even if you're a bit kind of like maybe you're a bit afraid maybe you're a bit like oh i don't know if i'm ready guys you are ready this zoom call will prepare you for that um please feel very welcome to join the dream temple facebook group where all details are posted in there and um i think that's enough talking uh, let, let's just crack on let's just have a little look so this wonderful spring equinox angels guides and obviously the sun moving into aries as well let's combine the two what do you want to say bring through some themes for us please thank you so much we've got archangel christine accept the christ light out with wisdom loving compassion archangel azrael of course of course of course Ooh. okay so christine i think is christine the twin flame of archangel uh jophiel i feel like she is and she came through the other day actually um you know she's anchoring in that christ light um, especially bringing in that compassion and wisdom around the crown chakra all of that energy dropping in archangel azriel here is helping us transition we've gone through that rebirth we've gone through that death um phase we're now in rebirth right that's what the winter was about you know change is occurring change is afoot archangel azriel literally wrapping his gorgeous uh, wings around you know around us um really cocooning us right so that we can emerge right we can emerge from the chrysalis into the beautiful blossoming butterfly that we are you know we've gone through all of that and who else is coming out here to support this equinox and this change of the sun archangel christiel holy moly you guys we've got so much christ light energy coming in like so much christ light energy coming in you know what if you are watching this if you're watching this video it is time it is time for just any limiting beliefs that you've had is just that it's time for them to go it's done right it's done you know we've got christine coming in here which is that feminine aspects of the crown chakra you know compassion wisdom incredible knowledge and kind of um the way that she works with removing any kind of um fear-based thought patterns and competitive kind of you know knowing which way in the fork the fork of the road which way of the road you need to go that's what she's here helping with 
right? Azrael helping us let go of what doesn't serve, release the guilt, release the shame, release the um, obligation, right? And then we've got Christiel, Archangel Christiel, you know, working with that causal chakra, the chakra above the crown, right? Our own personal moon, you know, this is Christ-like energy again, twice, you know, receiving the white ascension flame. That's what this is, that's what this is right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's just a powerful way to start this reading. You know, unicorns are coming in as well to remind us to trust, right? To remind us to trust and to, um, you know, have, oh, sorry, the energy's like, whoo, <laughs> remind us to trust and to breathe hope and um, innocence into our day-to-day, -day, right? You know, the gorgeous energy of the unicorn stepped down through the, um, what do you step down through? Is it the Pleiades you step down through? Um, from Lyra, right? Um, bringing that unicorn, seventh dimensional unicorn energy here. I'm really anchoring it in. Yep, look at that, anchoring it in. Whew, with Archangel Sandalfin, Sandalfin into the Earth Star Chakra. Right, into the Earth Star Chakra, which is all about your divine potential, right? It's all about your soul journey, where your soul wants you to go, right? Your soul is in charge here. Your soul is directing you. No fear, absolutely no fear, right? Bringing the world into harmony, tapping into your divine potential, the causal chakra, bringing in that um, that gorgeous angelic realm, right? Holding the space for us. And let's see who's on the bottom of the deck. Guardian Angel, of course, because Guardian Angel is looking after you throughout the whole process of this, right? So before we even start, the energy coming in for this spring equinox and we'll do a rose specifically on them on the sun in aries but the energy coming in for this spring equinox is so freaking powerful look at this it's literally dropping in from the crown right release and let go and really holding that space bringing in the unicorns to purify to bring that love that higher energy right that higher innocence and trust and hope in that seventh dimensional frequency and then really anchoring it into your earth star into that beautiful beautiful chakra below your feet which is governing um how we move forward right how uh like our divine direction making our making our direction aligned as well you know are we repeating what we've done last year and the year before and what we've always repeated you know kind of like having good moments then kind of you know peaks and valleys peaks and valleys swings and roundabouts <laughs> you know all of that or are we literally going to go on this massive ascension journey right now because this is what this this is what the portal is this is what the manifestation portal is guys if you are wanting to harness this energy you need to be on the zoom call on friday it is recorded like i say and it's it's a donation based event right so you can donate a dollar or a pound and get access to that call live or um recorded or you can donate 10 pounds 10 dollars whatever i mean whatever suits you right you know feel into it but what is going to be happening here is we are going to be tapping into the incredible incredible manifesting energy portal that we are in and releasing the blocks that we've had previously any karmic blocks doing a lot of quantum shifting around that so that is something for everyone on there uh watching this call it would benefit every single person on here right um yeah look at this a snake coming out just dropping off the bottom of the deck here just saying release rebirth integrate right anyway let's have a little look see here so we're going to move on to looking at the sun being in um aries so what do you want to tell us about that i'm going to use the dragon deck for this actually beautiful beautiful angels and guides is that three cards look at that there, there is three cards so i'm just going to pull these three out straight away and then once one more please thank you okay black dragon from saturn okay black dragon is all about cocooning you for your divine potential for that to grow right this is about metamorphosizing so this um this this sun transitioning into Aries right now this fire sign you know we've got a lot of energy coming through to expand your heart space connect you to the cosmic heart right that's in Venus you know open your heart to be purified and um, to connect with the love of the universe we've got the golden orange dragon which is preparing you for ascension right so that fire energy coming in here um being a peaceful warrior as well like remembering your magnificence this is what the Aries sun is actually going to be able to bring to you should you wish to tap into that the silver dragon is illuminating your potential with higher light untapped resources and look at that crystal that's you know this is perfect being linked in this way as well you know that soul energy, that soul mastery is what the like the Aries energy is really gonna bring that through. And then we've got the crystal yellow dragon, which is about higher learning and wisdom. And once again, this is the dragon that works with Archangel Jophiel and Archangel Christine, crystal yellow dragon. 
we've literally got the same energy coming out in two different rows here so this is about expanding your crown chakra so the energy of the aries sun is really going to propel you forward in really tapping into that deep soul knowledge right tapping into um to wisdom that you didn't even think that you had right that is just kind of so unconsciously known that you will just automatically bring it through right if you surrender to it if you surrender to it right this isn't about knowing with your brain and your logical mind this is about knowing with your soul and allowing that to channel through like this is channeling through right now i don't know what i'm going to say before i say it i'm just letting i'm just letting whatever energy is coming through come through right that's what this is and that's what's happening here when your heart is open to love right that divine energy is going to channel through you expanding you um re helping remind you of all the things that you've known in other lifetimes all the mastery that you've had right that um aries energy is really going to bring that through it's going to light a fire up your uh <laughs> it's going to light a fire in you i tell you that and um really illuminate where your strengths are and give you that direction of forward momentum right so when you've got that energy of the aries sun and this expansion of wisdom here pairing it especially because this is about your spiritual path spiritual path look at this synchronicity pairing it together with the equinox energy holy you guys seriously there is never a better time in the year and you know we go through other portals like lion's gate and the 11 11 portal and those those are incredible incredible gateways to manifest of course but there is nothing like this one that we're going to go through right now there hasn't been before um, and although every year this holds a great amount of energy, this specific year, this year of unity, this year of change, it's, oh, it's magnified. It's just so magnified. So who is supporting us through this, right? What, like, what else do we need to know? Who else is supporting us? What, um, I know, what may be challenging us through this space and time? Let's have a little look. What may be challenging us through the space and time? We've got... Our Lady of Guadalupe, this is protection energy, feeling safe, right? This is, so we may feel a little bit, um, we may not, we may feel like the change is unsettling, right? Change might feel unsettling, but, you know, we're being reminded that we are safe when we are aligned in love, right? That is the only thing that is going to be flowing around is when we're aligned in love, we can only be going in the right direction, okay? We've got Diana coming through here, that queen of the wilderness, right? This is about, um, this is about love leading the way, right? She's tapped into her heart. She's the goddess of the moon. You know, the goddess of the hunt, right? Going to get what it is that she wants, right? So, you know, we may um, we may struggle, right? With feeling um, like we may have moments where we're going in a certain direction and we're like, hold on, is that the right direction? Yes, it is. You are safe. Carry on going, right? Who, what else might be challenging us this um, with this sun in Aries with this and this vernal equinox? What, may, what else may be challenging us? Queen Esther... Morning star, ego. Um, impatience, right? We might feel a little bit impatience um, coming through. We might want things to just happen like that and we forget that divine timing is always at play and when divine timing is at play, we just gotta allow it because there are things and parts, parts of the puzzle that we don't always see, right? That are really helping us and benefit, be benefiting us if we allow it to happen. So if we release any forced action and just go with aligned action, then we trust in divine timing and divine timing is always perfect you cannot beat it the human mind the ego um our wants from our headspace and what we think is right can't ever beat divine timing right and then we've got our oh, beautiful sarah lakali queen of the outsiders you may feel like you are on your own this this month this through this space and time you are not i just want to put it out there you are not okay this incredible incredible energy this incredible incredible goddess Sarah Lakali, you know, she remembers that she is love, right? So regardless of whatever other people are doing, regardless of whether she feels uh, approved of or accepted or included or whatever, sometimes we have to walk that path alone, knowing that when we can align with the love that we know that we are, we then start to attract the soul tribe that are on our frequency, right? So I just wanna put that in there. And we do have Kuan Yin coming in. Once again, Kuan Yin is on, on the board of karma. So she is here looking after bringing that compassion through, right? You know, there may be dark nights coming through. There may be that volatile kind of energy popping in throughout the space of this next month, just as we get more and more and more aligned. And that's okay because the more space we create, right? The more light we can let in, the more aligned action we can take, the more on, 
our higher timeline we can be, right? So Kuan Yin is just reminding us that, you know what, um, it's okay to release the guilt, the shame, the suffering that we've experienced. It's okay to release those memories. Things might pop back in right now. Um, that might pop in and out throughout the month as, um, you know, with all this energy, right? With all this, am I in the right direction? Do I feel safe? Yes, you do. Allow it to transmute, right? Allow it to be released into compassion. But let's have a little look here. I want to know, let's see, what do we want to know? What's going to be best to bring through here? What guidance do we want to utilize this, um, this beautiful portal coming up for the equinox in the best possible way? Got purple coming in, third eye clairvoyance. <laughs> Stairs, <laughs> that divine timing. <laughs> Growth. Woo. And the kitchen, which is all about creation. Okay, awesome. So this is the guidance coming through here. So we've got this energy coming in from our higher chakras. We've got that third eye, that sight, that clairvoyance, that, um, and you know, abundance comes from the third eye chakra, right? Abundance comes through, it's projected through the third eye chakra. So we're being called to spend time kind of daydreaming. We're being called to spend time actually tuning into that higher, um, higher energy and actually grounding it into the earth as well, because this is a time of manifesting. So these cards actually are telling us how to manifest right now. So what they're saying here is they're saying, you know, visualize it, see it, feel it, affirming that I am, right? Affirming the present, be specific, and then allow divine timing to take place. Allow the direction to take place. You are ascending to a higher spiritual lesson right now. You are going through a higher spiritual lesson right now. Trust that the timing is happening. Trust that what you've asked for is arriving. All you have to do in the meantime from asking before it gets given, all you have to do is just keep that vibration high. The kitchen is coming in here to say the more that you physically um, create, right? So create, express, um, put physical aligned action to whatever. So if you're asking for something, right? If you're asking for something, say, you know, how can I reach more people doing whatever? Go and be outside, go for a walk, do something that's high frequency, high vibration, and then listen, notice, tune into what divine inspiration is coming in and dropping in, right? And that's that God energy as well, right? That's that um, inspiration dropping in from the divine, that illumination dropping in. And then when you get the idea, you just do it, you run with it. You don't wait to do it, you just do it, right? Because it's any any inspiration from the divine is gonna work out in your favor, right? But we can forget you guys, when we're trying to manifest, well first, if you're trying, then it's not happening, right? And um, you gotta surrender to it. But if you are, um, if you're wanting to create something, a lot of us kind of do the energetical work, but then we forget to put the physical action. We live in a physical body, in a physical world, for us to manifest and bring it in, right? You know, we've got to actually put and um, create different avenues, right? Pay attention to the to the downloads we're receiving and put them into action so that we're creating different avenues for whatever it is to come in, right? With this sun energy coming in, we've got a lot of that coming in here with that crown, right? That crown energy. Um, this is all about illumination and growth, God energy. So how, it's not even, we don't even have to know how we're gonna grow through this space and time. We just have to be open to it. And that's what they're saying right now. Just be open to it, be open to growth because it's your divine right not to, you know, it's your divine right to completely thrive and have an absolute balling time, <laughs> right? An absolutely amazing time in this lifetime. If you're not having an amazing time all of the time, what are we doing, right? What's happening, okay? And if this sounds too good to be true, it's not. It's just a shift in mindset, and that's why we've got all these um, energies coming in to support the crown chakra opening, right? You know, and then anchoring it into the earth. Let the ego go. Ego is in service to the soul, right? That inner child, it's just gotta comfort it, gotta acknowledge it, hear it, know that we're protected, right? Tune into love, right? And there is no separation, you guys. And this is what Sarah Lucali comes in to say, you know, there is no separation, right? And we can feel separated when we aren't getting that validation from another person, but we're transcending that right now. That's very 3D and 4D, right? 3D, 4D is needing validation from an external source. 5D is knowing that we are all connected and that that validation, that love comes from within ourselves, okay? So for this gorgeous, gorgeous equinox right what can, what is the best guidance to bring through to just kind of conclude this today yeah bridget's coming in here don't back down absolutely gorgeous thank you bridget <sighs> don't back down carry on going follow that energy right follow that beautiful 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 energy light that inner fire allow that to thrive and to grow into and to really 
spark up, right? A lot of fire energy. Allow it to drive you. And guys, you know, jump onto the Zoom call on Friday in all honesty. If you want someone to guide you through this, as a gorgeous space of time. I think we'll be live for about an hour, an hour and a half or so. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just gonna be so fascinating and phenomenal to, you're gonna, you're gonna find it fascinating to feel the power of manifestation in a group setting as well. We did a new moon ritual last week um, and people were feeling like, and that was individually, they were manifesting from that ceremony within the space of a day, two days, it was done. Imagine what we're gonna do in this big group setting, right? It's gonna be so incredible. So I cannot wait to see you all on Friday. Have the most incredible, incredible equinox. Please do reach out. I've got a few more slots next week for reduced price angelic guidance. If you're wanting a one-to-one -one guidance session, if you're wanting anything like that, if you're called to that, they are still reduced at 55 pounds if you book them this week, okay? Uh, and then they go back to the full price, right? So, and same with quantum sessions. If you're looking to do any deep soul, Akashic journey in and really drawing back the wisdom from your previous mastery lifetimes and doing soul retrieval and just kind of clearing out the junk, right? Now is the time to do it. They are still on reduction. Uh, if you book them in this week, um, yeah, this week, this weekend, the session itself doesn't need to happen for another week or two. So we work it with our calendars, but um, feel very welcome to book in. Um, should you wish to just send me a message, pop me an email um, or reach out to me on Facebook, whatever is easier. And I just want to say I love you all so much. This is always an honor to bring this guidance through. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, do share it, do like it. Um, and I always love reading your comments as well. So please feel very, very welcome to write to me. I love hearing from you. And until next time, I'm sending you much love.